Golfing World recently sat down with five-time European Tour winner and Ryder Cup star Ross Fisher to discuss his 2014 season so far and his plans for the rest of the year, which include a couple of major targets. I'd say primary goal would be to try and get in the Ryder Cup um, and back in the world's top 50. You know, just just taking each tournament um, as it comes and just trying to play as, as good as I can. Ross won the Swanee Open in South Africa earlier this season, beating Michael Hoey and Dunny Von Tonda to the title, a fifth tour victory getting his career back on track. If you win a tournament, it gives you, uh, gives you a lot of confidence, a lot of self-belief, um, you know, especially having not won for a few years, almost three and a half years, so uh, to get the win has, has boosted my confidence and uh, given me obviously a a great um, incentive to kind of kick on and uh, really push forward this season. I just seem to hold more putts that week, um, which is, you know, the name of the game. Um, I think that's what we all try and do is just to hold a couple more putts each round and you shoot um, you shoot a much better score and that's the thing that's been letting me down um, for, for quite a few years now. After experiencing life on both the PGA and the European tours, Ross reckons that the US offers more in the way of big money tournaments, but it's not as much fun as playing in Europe. People tend to take it a lot more serious. Golf course wise, they're, you know, they're very different. Each tournament is you know, pretty much like our BMW PGA Championship. They're all massive tournaments over there. So if you did take a week off, you feel like you're you're losing ground because every tournament is so big over there. But um, you know the, tra the travel over there is is a lot easier. Um, you know the courses are in very good condition. Practice facilities are very very good. Um, so it was a nice um, learning curve, good experience for me. But um, you know having said that, I I did really miss Europe. I missed the camaraderie and the banter and uh, being at home on on the European tour. With the Ryder Cup fast approaching, captains have been selected and the countdown is well and truly underway. Europe, of course, will be skippered by Paul McGinley, and having experienced the Irishman's leadership in team competition, Ross reckons he's a great choice. I think it'll be very good. I've been very fortunate to play um, two Sevy trophies that he captained. Um, he brings a lot of experience to the team, having played many Ryder Cups. Um, He's a very good people person, um, comes and talks to you and asks you what you like, what you don't like, who you want to play with, maybe someone that you know, maybe you don't see yourself playing with, who do you feel comfortable with. Um, so he really gets to know the individuals um, very well and I think he'll, uh, he'll be a really, really good captain. Ross made his Ryder Cup debut at Celtic Manor in 2010 and was part of the European team which beat USA by a single point after a Monday finish in Wales, providing some of his favourite golfing memories. It was amazing, obviously, for many um, different reasons, but it's just so different because you're, you're not only playing, you know, you're not playing for yourself. Um, if you hit a bad shot, you're only letting yourself down. But, you know, if you do it in the Ryder Cup, you're not only letting yourself down, um, your team down, your captains, your vice captains, um, and the whole of Europe. So there's a lot more added pressure on it, but um, I think a lot of us uh, thrive on pressure and uh, I feel no different. I really enjoyed my experience in the Ryder Cup and it's something that I want to experience again. Keep showing the form he's shown so far in 2014 and he could well be off to Glen Eagles in September.